Alright everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're playing some Pantheon in the mid lane. We're running Conquer, Presence of Mind, Haste, uh, Cut Down, Mana Flow Band, and Transcendence. I'm either going to do Lethality Panth or Bruiser Panth. Lethality Panth will hit a lot harder, but Bruiser Panth could survive longer and deal more damage. Really depends if I can kill Soul early or not, because if I can't kill him early, then he's going to scale and I'll need to go Bruiser. But I picked Panthe on this game because my team kind of drafted full AP, besides the Ezreal. But if Ezreal doesn't do well and I'm an AP champ, then we're basically a full AP champ, or a full AP comp. I mean, we can just kind of walk up to him level 1 and stippy stab him. Because he has a tier. All he could do is press E. Damn, those hurt. Pantheon Q actually goes pretty far with the tap, and the reason I'm not throwing it is because it goes on like double cooldown if you throw it, and it does half damage if it hits a minion first. The so Pantheon is a lane bully. He's a super strong early game champ. So if this guy actually tries to fight me, he'll lose. He has to kite me. I'll use this first. Oh my goodness. I yeah, use my E first because I realized I could get him low enough to under, what, 30%? And then my Q pretty much executes. It does like double damage. 20%. He's already back. There are no enemies. No allies. The jungler a sedge. Probably gonna need to base. If he just Q's like that, he can poke me. But if he holds his Q, I can jump in and stun him. But at this current health, I don't think I want to do that. I think we just base. I mean, I killed him. We could go lethality, get like maximum armor pen. I, I'll go hubris first then. So I can get a ton of AD. And it's cannon wave. I think I'll lose the cannon, but I might get these three. I'll actually get the cannon. Because we fall, the climb must be nice. our destination. We can just kind of run him down. Oh my damage. You fight, you must that fight. hurts. If he's low, insta kill with Q. That just bought. Ooh, I could alt that. Let me get this plating first. Oh, they're winning. I don't need to go there. Ow. Kind of hurting. We get all back to him. Oh, 
How much further could we march? If we Usually the Samiras like run over the lane. Oh, it's because it's a Nami. Nami has to land the bubble to even do anything. Might be able to get both. Aww. He randomly turned around. Didn't get anything. Damn, Soul got two kills out of that. Come here. Raised against surrender. He got his flash. Pretty sure that would have killed him. I can still kill him with a Q at that HP. Gotcha. Oh, I could get her too. Double tap E does just as much damage as a Q. Well, that will be our hubris. And another plating. There's the Samira things. Uh oh. Ah. Uh, I should have stunned him. Oh my goodness. Okay. I got a lot of damage. He doesn't have a single item that gives HP, but he's like insanely squishy. The past marches with me. And the crazy thing about Lethality Pantheon is every time I rank up my alt, I get up to 30% armor pen. So... We are going Combined with a ton of flat lethality and more armor pen if I get a grudge, I'm going to do true damage on everything I do. Or telling somebody to calm down will result in him calming down, right? Doesn't that work? Oh wait here, see if the old kind of roams. So I think I can go in with empowered W. Then use E auto attack. And just kill him in one combo. Holy cow. Yeah, E auto attack, then empowered Q, and he's just dead. Hunter to zero. Allow he might be here. I'm gonna have a lot of haste too. So I took mana flow transcendence so I could just keep stabbing. Huh. Personally I would have preferred the Oh he got executed. Him just Wing over the wall. We are I'm doing just disgusting amount of damage already. Well, that's Sedjol. That's Soul. Wait a second, I'm gonna die. Oh, 
No! The Q didn't go off. Maybe I should have tapped E so it goes off a little faster. I wonder if he got behind me and it did damage that way. Alright, what do I want? Second. You break it? I think Axiom. They go try and hit turret, they're dead. I have flash, so I think they're dead anyway. I can't flash for her unless I could flash W. I don't really want to though. I didn't think Nami would still have ult after a fight. We could get three fire dragons in Infernal Soul. Jeez. He'll probably TP back. But his turret's dead. I can go grab Axiom, then just all bot, kill both of them, then all mid. I think we'll go Grudge. And then, or Edge of Night. I might go Edge of Night before Grudge. I'll eat him. Might have saved him. Go back in. Our jungler is a living bot on that Samira. Even impaled on a blade, I will press forward. Break her passive. I must just flashed on accident. Oh my god. What is that damage? Oh my god. That spear did like 70% of Samira's HP bar. Pretty gross damage. Eh, who needs defensive items? Let's just go grudge. I have found my limit. I think I can fight a Lowy. He has a fair bit of armor. Am 
might be a bad idea. Oh, where'd she go? Oh no. She did not take damage. I should have flashed away as soon as she ulted. There are a lot of tentacles. Run, Kench. If he cues her, he heals. There we go. He should live. Well, we didn't get the Herald. I don't think I could fight a Lowie till I have a grudge. I think the turret's gone. Actually, it'll live. Lowy kind of scary. Ooh, fire drags up. Well, Alawi doesn't have ult. We might be able to beat her. No way. She got down to 1 HP and my Q didn't kill her because she healed. I should have ignited earlier. Damn it. And then the soul ult stunned me. Unlucky. That's crazy how just an Iceborne Gauntlet can 1v5. But she, Alawi's like super OP versus melee champs, which we all are. Alawi like hard counters four of us. Oh, that's so gross though. I really thought she was gonna die there. I don't understand how they still all have alts. Alawi had alt there still, and so did um, Soul after they fought. Alright. There we go. Oh my god, good save. Why is she so fast? I'm kind of squishy. They're able to kill me now before I can kill them. I gotta get Edge of Night next for sure. I think Soul flashed away from me though, right? Yeah, he definitely did. I think we need to split. Their team fight's too strong. I can't go into a soul, Samira, and Alawi. I'll just get blown up. I can beat them on their own. But when they're all together, they'll just all fight me. Ward gonna alt? Uh, we don't have wave clear. Your turret has been destroyed. 
And Ezreal to cut caught. He's gonna live with like one HP. Got Grudge. Well, they didn't get the turret. Well, they might still. Can alt back in. If he can alt Alawi and take her out of the fight, then we're fine. Duoed Baron? Are you kidding me? But oh, we could Dragon. I will carve my scars into the heavens. Fire. Why do you flash that? As long as we don't lose everybody, dude. you guys can't beat her. This is a perfect fight for her. Just run. Now he's dead. Now you're stuck. I think I could save him. Nope. Dude, that is ridiculous. Dude, there's so much undodgeable shit that they have. I have to flash that. Killer, bro. Are you serious? Well, we could try and go for inhib here. But Samira and Sedge are still up. And Soul. Oh, no. It's impossible to siege against soul. 
We have to just dive, kind of. I like how none of my team went with me and I just 1v3. Imagine if they were with me. But we got most of the turret. If Ezreal was there, we actually would have won that and gotten into it. Sorry, he's farming for late game with his main character syndrome. Uh, I think I might need Eclipse for some max health damage. And then I get the shield too, which will help. Especially if he E's on top of her. Okay, she should be dead. Yeah, the funny thing is Soul, who I ran over in lane, they always, like, turn out stronger than my whole team. It sucks. I get Perma Soul to the whole game. Like, I have to go for whoever's closest because Samira just stays on edge of range, but I'm literally soul ulted every fight and I can't get out of it. Uh, I think we we'll lose. Maybe not. He clears the minions. They actually don't have minions. It's just so gross, man. Not bad. How about we uh, stop this thing? Dragon. Probably just go for Baron. But one of them's Alawi's probably on Dragon. He could check it. Not up, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm open, Nexus. Uh, I don't think we get anything, which sucks. Might be able to get mid in here, but I feel like they're just gonna TP in our base now. Yeah, Soul's already up, dude. It's so dumb. I 
had to. Alright. Flash to insta kill him. He even had an hourglass. The earth is beneath me. Because we fall, the climb must be our destination. Dude, how does this soul have like zero second death timers? He's already back up. Where's a lolly? Nice, he altered her. Oh. I can't move for an hour, bro. Oh my god, Ezreal's doing something. I gotta go defend the base. I feel like Samira's trying to rat, but we can- Oh no, there she is. I think we win. Cringe! We can just end. Oh my god, I actually won us this game. That was tough. I thought we were going to lose. I got some good picks though at the end. Mord did good there with his ult. He ulted Alawi after she ulted. So then he just takes her tentacles all away. I thought I was dead. I got so ulted again. Oof, that was an intense game. That was really fun though. I stepped it up though. I picked Samira and Soul twice in a row each, so they didn't get to play for two minutes. And we were able to just pick Alawi because we started to have damage at the end. E. See how much damage I did. Oh, look at that damage chart. 82k damage. Here's our rune stats. Cutdown did 3352. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe, guys. Thanks again for watching. Peace.